Okay, John, thank you. ABC 7 business commentator Jeff Stern joins us now with a check of the day on Wall Street so far, and it's been uh, quite the week for the Dow and the S&P 500, Jeff. Scott, that is correct. Don't forget, we just saw 23,000 on the Dow last month. Yesterday, the Dow closed above 24,000. Very impressive. So far for the week, the Dow's up over 3%, while the S&P is up close to 2%. NASDAQ's positive, but only by a tenth of percent. So, so far, the week's been positive on all fronts. Ten-year Treasury's currently trading around 2.39. Oil's been rising, about $57 a barrel. So a lot of interesting facts going on. And our buddy at Amazon became the richest man in the world with Amazon, Jeff Bezos, of the $100 billion mark. Very impressive. Well, I woke up this morning and the futures were negative. So let's see how we're currently trading. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is negative 288 points, trading just below that 24,000, 23,984, down 1.2%. NASDAQ negative as well, 6,739, down 134 points, almost 2% just today. S&P 2,611 down 36 points, 1.3 percent in the negative. Not the best day so far. But we'll see how it plays out. And I understand, Jeff, that GM is putting some pressure on Tesla in the self-driving car race. We've been waiting for it, Scott, that is for sure. But they believe, GM, that is, in 2019, they'll have mass production of fully autonomous electric cars, mainly be used for the ride-sharing program, which they have started. And they believe eventually, believe it or not, the ride-sharing pro program will be bigger than just selling the cars, which is their current model. Today, they average about $30,000 a car, and they believe with this ride-sharing program, they'll be able to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars for the same vehicle. Electricity will be cheaper to build as well as run, obviously, and you're not going to have to pay a driver, so costs are going to be very cheap. Right now, it's just the Bolt that's electric, although they'd feel by 2019, there's going to be a couple more cars in GM's li lineup. The Cruise is actually their department, which is the autonomous department for GM. And they've been practicing, if you will, with their employees in San Francisco so far. The ride-sharing program with autonomous cars, electric cars, has been working. GM's up about 24% for the year. So we'll see how it continues, but Tesla should be uh, paying attention to what's going on in the GM plant. That's for sure, Scott. Okay. We'll watch it. Thanks so much, Jeff. Have a great weekend. You too.